Middlesbrough, a win that took them to the top of the Premiership table. Everton looking the more complete of the two sides. So they have the Premiership points, remember. Middlesbrough still struggling without a goal or a point as Kevin Campbell breaks free in the box, looking for some space. Nice ball in, Ferguson's up there! Just wide of the post, Duncan Ferguson. Absolutely outsmarted and outjumped Schwarzer. And so close to his third of the season. So first corner of the game to the Blues. Mark Pembridge will swing it in. Ferguson, Weir and Stubbs are up there. Campbell's up there! And Captain Campbell opens his account for the season. The Middlesbrough defence seem more occupied with uh, Ferguson, Weir and Stubbs. But Super Kevin Campbell, with his first of the season for Everton, on 19 minutes, breaks the deadlock here at Goodison. And what a lovely finish that was. Again, Schwarzer wasn't comfortable in the air. And Campbell got in between him and Fleming. Southgate was all over the place as well. And that is a quality finish from a quality player. David Unsworth has got to Ferguson again, looking for the flick into Campbell. Alexanderson, good save by Schwarzer. Chance not over yet, Alexanderson again. Alexanderson scampering over to take this one. Takes it quickly from Tarl. Falls kindly for Gemmel! What a peach from Scott Gemmel! And didn't Everton deserve that one? Well, we've seen some fine goals at Goodison over the years, but Scott Gemmel knows that will rank amongst them. Middlesbrough didn't clear the corner properly, and it's sat up invitingly for Scott Gemmel. And some breathing space now for the Blues. A lovely finish from Gemmel, who worked so hard for the team. The beefy figure of Dean Windass into Paul Ince. Nemeth. Jobs away, this could be dangerous for Everton. Splendid save by Gerard. Danger not over yet. Pistoni concedes a corner. It took a long time to come down, to be honest, and I was just concentrating on trying to make a clean connection. I, I won't kid you. Um, you know, it's just nice to see them going. I didn't actually see the ball go in the net, but I certainly enjoyed it. We've given ourselves a great platform now to build on anything other than in the top half, pushing for Europe. We're, we're going to be disappointed ourselves. I realise we've still got to convince the public, uh, but that's the thing we have to do. It's a terrific goal coming out at the edge of the box like that, and you see them a lot of the time, and, uh, you know, they don't hit them well, but hit that one well. Fixture weekend, Everton travelled to Strugglers Ipswich and fought out a goalless draw that demonstrated the resilience of a defence that had only conceded one goal in three matches. Indeed, Everton could have won had Kevin Campbell put this chance away. But Everton had rediscovered winning form at Goodison Park and weren't about to surrender it that easily. Steve Watson's been everywhere. Really? And that was Gravison's quickly taken free kick, but Campbell couldn't organise it. Alexanderson's cross, Naismith, and Watson! And Steve Watson has scored! against his old side. Well, he began the move. Gravison's pass. Campbell couldn't get 
crowd is putting Alexander to Naismith and Ray Vedder from Steve Watson. A defender who can score goals. As we all know, Everton have the lead. with much more confidence with that goal behind them. Gravison putting pressure on the defence with a terrible mistake. This is Naismith. And Rosinski! Villa totally gifting it. And Rosinski is delighted, but Naismith's the man who did the work. Gravison first put pressure on the defence. Naismith taking the ball down the left, picking out Rosinski. Excellent play. And Everton have a goal cushion now. Gravison's got his own idea. He's, uh, Pistone wants to take it. But Gravison squeezed it through! Two in three minutes for Everton. Danish class this time as one great Dane beats another the wall broke up miserably Gravison's shot was true Everton have a 3-0 lead Gemmel set him up and he didn't disappoint There's a certain nervousness about a cushion like this. Here's Vassal. And Villa looking for a way back into this game. Hadji! Well, they might have found it. There's still 20 minutes to go. And even Schmeichel, I can tell you, has made the journey up for this. There's nobody back for Villa. It might come to Schmeichel! Well, a second moment of Danish class. Peter Schmeichel has wanted a marvellous goal. Storm's corner, and look at this volley from Schmeichel. I felt it was a terrific match, you know, uh, uh, Aston Villa started the game extremely well for 15 minutes or so. We had the best of the next 15 minutes, managed to get a goal in that period, and a um, bit scrappy before half-time. Second half we started extremely well for 20 minutes, played as well as we have done um, this season, and uh, managed to get ourselves three up. I was expecting Villa to be resilient enough and they came back 